Spaced repetition systems are there to help you learn and remember and think on information. If you've been around the personal note-taking or knowledge management space for any amount of time, you've probably heard this term floated around. Hey folks, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today we're going to talk about what a spaced repetition system is and how you can build one using Obsidian and a new application called Neurocache. Before we get into the specifics of how to build one, let's talk about what a spaced repetition system or SRS is. Spaced repetition is built on a set of principles and studies on how the brain works and recalls and learns information. When you put information into a spaced repetition system, that information will get surfaced back to you on regular intervals. So say you're trying to remember what your phone number is. When you first put your phone number into the system, it will surface it to you every single day. And then you'll be able to give some feedback on, hey, I did a really good job remembering it today. And when you consistently do a good job of remembering that information over a period of time, say a week or so, it will then start showing that information to you less frequently. As you continually recall this information uh, better and better over time, the information will get surfaced less and less frequently until you have integrated that knowledge into what you naturally remember. A spaced repetition system is basically a piece of software that enables you to build that type of a learning workflow very easily. Neurocache then is a spaced repetition application for both iOS and Android. It's a newer player on the scene, but the thing that I love about Neurocache is that it integrates very well with your existing note-taking tools. You can use it with Roam, OneNote, Evernote, and even Obsidian, which we're going to talk about today. There are three major workflows I think you can build inside of Neurocache very easily. The first is learning, the second remembering, and the third thinking. First, learning is what I think is probably the most common use for a spaced repetition system. You basically create a flashcard where you put a piece of information behind a question, say, what is my phone number? And then when you try to recall that information, say, okay, my phone number is this. And then you press the button and you get to see the answer. Then you can rate it basically on how well you did. But the other two, remembering and thinking, are probably the uses for a spaced repetition system that I know at least I get the most use out of, and you probably will as well. This basically allows you to surface information at regular intervals. Say you want to remember something about yourself or about somebody else or something going on, and you can bring that up on a regular interval. And thinking, if you're, say, working on a particular note or a question in your system, you can surface a question and be able to think on that on a regular interval. Now, before we dive into building these systems inside of Obsidian and Neurocache, a couple of concepts that you need to be aware of before doing so. First is that tagging is used to define cards in your space repetition system. We'll show you how to do that. And secondly, that you kind of have to manually sync files periodically to Neurocache. It introduces a little bit of friction to do this, but if you're not changing in large fashion what you are adding to your space repetition system, then you don't really have to worry about it too much. Let's get into Obsidian and Neurocache to show you exactly what it takes to build a space repetition system using these two pieces of software. Okay, so you can see on the screen that I have Obsidian open on the left, and Neurocache on my iPhone open on the right. In the demo file, I have a couple of different questions already laid out just for ease of use and creating this video. But be aware that if you use Neurocache inside of your your Obsidian Vault, you can create flashcards using tags anywhere in your vault. It doesn't have to be contained to one single file. So Say in a daily note, you think of something that you want to remember at a later point in time, or you want to revisit on a recurring basis. All you have to use is the tag methods that we're going to show you, and those will pop in along with everything else inside of your Obsidian Vault that you've tagged for your spaced repetition system. 
So as we talked about previously, there are three main uses that I find useful for a spaced repetition system, and that's learning, remembering, and thinking. And we have three items here that reflect that. So say if I need to spend some time, if I get a new phone number and I want to remember that, well, I'm asking myself this question, what is my phone number? If I want to turn that into a spaced repetition card inside of Neurocache, all I have to do is add the flashcard tag here. And then any other tags you add to it, say personal, learning, those will categorize that piece of information inside of Neurocache. The flashcard says it's a flashcard. And then the other tags categorize the information. Then on a line directly below those tags, I need to add my phone number. What that will do is it will put that phone number behind a little flashcard or like on the back side of a flashcard so that I can work on recalling that information. Then to end that card in the note, all I have to do is add three dashes, which is a horizontal rule. Do be aware that the way Markdown is rendered inside of Obsidian, if you put that directly under the uh, answer that you have there, it will make it a heading. But if you just add a return after your answer before you put the three dashes, then the formatting will look correct. Now, if I want to recall something or remind myself of something on a regular basis, there's another tag you can use for that. Flashcards give you flashcards, but in Neurocache, all you have to do to recall something on a regular basis is use the spaced tag and say, I want to remember this about productivity. But it looks the same here, and this tripped me up earlier. Instead of doing this on the same line, you have to do this on the line above. So up here where you ask the question on the first line and then add the um, tags to note what that card is in Neurocache, here you have to put the tags on the line above the thing that you want to remember. So if I say spaced on this line and then the line that I want to remember down here, then that will work when we import it in. So this will remind me on a regular occurrence that productivity is a process. We have to do the same thing here for this question that I have. We'll put the space tag, thinking just to group that together. And then at the end, I will add the three dashes to signify the end of the card. Now, Remembering things is helpful if you just want to have it in front of your face. Say you want to remember and remind yourself that productivity is a process or whatever it is that's helpful for you to have a reminder of it at some point in the future. I know that's something that I find helpful to do for myself. It helps me stay on track. It helps me stay focused and clear on who I am and what I'm doing in life. I think the cool application here, though, is to use spaced repetition for thinking. Say you're working on building more permanent notes inside of your system, or you're working on a larger project, but you know it's going to take a longer period of time to build that out. Instead of just sitting down and forcing yourself to look at different things on a regular basis and say, well, I gotta think about this today, I gotta think about this today, you can add it to your spaced repetition system. So if I wanna think about on a regular basis how getting things done is affecting my productivity workflow, I can add that as a spaced repetition item inside of Neurocache and that will come up on a regular basis for me as time goes on so that I can think on that. And then if I have a note for that, I can add further information on that or whatever thoughts that I'm having, I can capture those and get them added. Because sometimes on different days, you make different connections to different ideas and having this in your system makes it effortless to be able to, you know, if you have the habit of opening up Neurocache or your spaced repetition software, on a regular day-to-day -day basis, it makes it really easy to engage with this information regularly as well. So let's head over to the iPhone and import this into Neurocache. We'll do a quick tour of the application. The Notes tab is the first one that you'll see when you get in here. There's a couple buttons that say Sync Notes, How to Use. It's really helpful to get going. We'll get into that in just a second. The Home tab is where you're going to start off your space repetition. You just tap this Today's Q button. 
And then study is something that is a premium feature. Uh, I'm not too familiar exactly with what it does. I haven't delved too deeply into it, but for today's purposes, we don't necessarily need to know what that is either because we're focused primarily on spaced repetition. So in order to import notes, we click this button with the down arrow and the squares up at the top here. And then we get lots of different options to import. This is a great feature of Neurocache, I think, because it allows you to connect your Twitter feed, Evernote, if you use Roam, Markdown files, which is what Obsidian uses and we're going to use today, OneNote and your Kindle highlights. There's lots of different places where you can import information into here to remember it or recall it at a later point in time. So I'm gonna tap on Markdown files to get my Obsidian Vault imported. I already have it selected here in the Files dropdown. This will be different on Android, of course, but it does work there. And I'll hit Done to import my Vault. And then you can see there's a number of tags here. These are all the tags that we added over here in Obsidian that group these notes together. Okay, so now that we have these notes added in, I'm gonna head over to the Home tab and tap on Today's Queue. Okay, so here's my note for productivity. Productivity is a process. There's a slider at the bottom here that basically just says, on the scale of, think of it as a scale of one to 10, how well did you remember this? Okay, well, I would have to say that I did this. And then you can tap the button on the right-hand side there, the color button, to figure that out or to move on to the next card. Okay, so what is my phone number? Well, I'm gonna remember that, 555-5555. Cool, that was right. All the way to the right, hit the button, move on. And then how does getting things done affect my productivity workflows today? What I would do if I was going through this is I would pause, I would think about it, or I'd even just let it load up into my brain so I can think about it through the day. And then I'll move on to the next one. Cool. And then you can review these items and kind of go through and make sure that you, you know, all the ones that you didn't get done very well, you can go back and uh, do that again. So, okay, productivity is a process. Cool. We'll go on here. And there we go. So it gives you a chance to go through and try again on the ones that you didn't do very well with. Now this does use a spaced repetition algorithm. You can tweak that and turn that on and off in settings, however you like. There's lots of different ways to use this. There's, so there's different ways. There's a SM2 based adaptive algorithm, adaptive simple, or just flat out one, five, 15, 30, 60 days, one through three, four, five days, whatever you choose to do for your spaced repetition you can use that inside of the application as well. Well, that sums up the video on how you can use Neurocache and Obsidian to build your own spaced repetition system. Neurocache is a free application and has some premium features that are built in through a subscription. I believe that is $1.99 a month at this point in time. But if you're just getting started, it's a great way to get going even on the free version of the application to build your own spaced repetition system. If you wanna see more videos on the topic, do let me know. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.